There you go, so I thought I'd take you on a little walk through Tbilisi in Georgia. A lot of you have seen little snaps and uh, cuts from other scenes of me walking about in town, but I haven't really done a proper walk and talk just to show you my place and my surroundings and uh, what things look like on my route to my coffee shop to get my morning caffeine hit. I also wanted to uh, talk a little bit about where, where I am at the moment uh, with, with plans, what I plan to do, whether I'm going to stay here, whether I'm going to head back to London. I think about a month ago I was talking about uh, coming across the difficult decision of whether I should stay here, where it's cheaper, I have access to the outdoors, uh, but it might be a little bit more complicated to meet my coaching clients in person and do other things like run workshops and seminars and stuff. So it's a bit of a balance that I'm thinking about, <clears throat> you know, whether to stay in London and have more of the perks of having my my clients nearby, but then of course higher costs and stuff. So this is something that I've been thinking about every day and constantly changing my mind. But I do, I do love the surroundings here. As you can see, it's a lovely day. There are pros and cons in life. And sometimes you just have to accept the fact that we've got uh, pros and cons with every decision we need to make. And i um, happy to hear your feedback, of course, about where you sh think I should go. Um, I do like the idea of eventually building my own little place or having at least one or two even places to live, an office and maybe somewhere, somewhere in the countryside if I can afford it. But uh, if I run my coaching business effectively, that shouldn't be a problem in a place like Georgia where prices are cheap and foreigners like me are able to purchase land and build their own houses or just buy a house. It's very loud out here this morning. It's a Sunday morning. It's supposed to be quiet. I'm walking down, um, I can't remember the name of the road, but I'm walking in an area called Marjanishvili, uh, which is a fairly central, one of the central hubs of Tbilisi. It's a nice uh, oldish style street with lots of nice architecture. Lots of beeping as usual. And as I was saying, I have now been here for a couple of months as I, well, I was, I was living in Bangkok, as many of you know, for a couple of years. And I was um, on my way back to the UK when I decided to stop off halfway to this lovely country, Georgia and um, see what it was about. And see whether it was the kind of place I might want to stay longer. I've just had my uh, family visit for uh, a couple of weeks, which was nice, nice to see them. And we went into the countryside and saw some mountains and I showed them around the town a bit. And now they've gone and I'm sort of sitting here feeling the pressure of needing to make a decision on whether I stay on and I've actually already booked my next place which I'll show you in the next future videos. I've now stayed in two different apartments here to try different parts of the town out and I've got to figure things out now. What I do know is that I'm going to continue coaching people and uh, what I really like is the idea of incorporating outdoor activities, camping, adventure, maybe climbing mountains with uh, clients, with guys who wanna uh, have my mentorship and support through the year with regular uh, consultations and chats about where they are in their lives and where they wanna go, but also feature a certain degree of getting out, meeting up somewhere in the world Probably in, you know, it could be a place like Georgia because it's ideal for outdoor stuff. 
and doing um, kind of coaching retreats one-on-one, -on -one, uh, maybe in a group as well, to challenge, to challenge you guys, challenge the clients, get them, get them to do things that they're scared to do as part of one of the perks of the coaching program. And of course, these are all things I'm looking forward to explaining to you guys through this channel and through other forms of content. The way I see it is it's a kind of, um, it's a sort of premium, premium coaching. It's not just your run of the mill coaching. At least that's the way I see it. That's the way I see it evolving is that I want to lay on as much value into the coaching program so that not only is it easier theoretically to um, attract people to to doing the coaching it will also be more effective because people are more engaged people are challenged more and it's generally more exciting more enjoyable experience so that's that's what I'm thinking and I'm thinking Georgia could be at least temporarily a great place to offer that kind of dynamic for that kind of coaching. I'm in Marjanishvili Square now. That's one of the, uh, the local buses that can take you pretty much anywhere. And uh, my arm is about to fall off. Let me know what you want to hear more about as well. Obviously I said in previous videos that I'll be chatting more about my approach to coaching and how I do it and how I make money from it and how I want to help you guys do it as well but also one of the things I'm also moving in the direction of is as I've become more aware of the need to streamline I think my target market more I'm going to be veering in the direction of more tailoring to to you guys so men's stuff now don't 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 be angry and don't throw anything at me ladies but um, and I know that you women you girls have been uh, forming a substantial chunk of my audience over the years and I'm still looking forward to sharing information and sharing ideas to help all of you but as a heads up my subject matter my content and my aim is going to be more channeled towards you men and, and focusing on men's issues and men's problems but of course a lot of those problems will apply to all of us so we'll see how it develops but just to just to let you know that you might be seeing more stuff that's a little bit more tailored to to men and what men need in the modern world I think things are interesting and things are changing quite a lot and I think that men are struggling in many ways and you can even argue more so than women for the most part in the West for sure Sorry, ladies. <laughs> also, being a bloke myself, I like to think that I know myself. I can't, um, I can't plan to help everyone. I can't aim to help everyone in all issues. And uh, I've had certain experiences that I can dig knowledge from that will hopefully help other guys, especially younger guys, but also any men of all ages. So that's the focus, coaching men, focusing on men's issues, focusing on um, training coaches, particularly male coaches who have an interest in coaching other male coaches. It's all a bit meta. Um, and for the time being, I'm going to be in Georgia. I'm going to be here. I'm probably going to head to London in about a month's time just to get back home, visit friends and family. But Georgia is proving itself to be a pretty ideal spot for me for now I may get itchy feet and find that you know after a month or two I'll need to keep traveling I think I've certainly caught the travel bug but as a as a base it makes sense to be here if I was to choose to have a base because it's cheap so if I was to travel a lot I could have a cheaper base here and not lose too much money through rent and so on so Georgia's pretty good for that it's also as I say great for outdoor activities a bit of mountain climbing you might be seeing a bit more film footage about or covering my adventures in Georgia so keep attached to those um, but certainly if you if you are a guy or you know guys who are interested in learning more about being a coach or simply being coached let me know and uh, forward them to this channel and um, make sure you subscribe if this kind of thing interests you because 
I want you guys to let YouTube know that uh, I am talking some sense and it helps it helps uh, you guys keep track of what I what I come up with as I say I'm sharing a daily video so you want to keep track of those send me some comments and feedback and uh, I send you my love <laughs>